What is the key of a song? What does that actually mean? Now that is what I'm going to explain in this video. So keep watching. Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So in the last couple of weeks, I explained to you guys or tried to explain what major scale and minor scales are, how they are related and how you can recognize them. Now, you might find some musicians talking about the key that a song is written in. What does that actually mean? And it's very important that we know what scales are for this one as well. Now, the key of a song is always portrayed in a letter which is the actual note. We're just going to start off with major keys or minor keys. The key stays the same. For example, if a key is written in C major, that just means that all the notes that we can use in that song to play are all the notes included in the C major scale. This one. So if a song is written in C major, those are all the notes that we can use. If a song is written in the C minor key, then that's the key of the scale that we can use like this one. So those are all the notes that we can use in a C minor key. The bass key stays the same, it's C. But with just the key, we don't know if it's major or minor. And that's a big difference in the song and in the feel with it. Now this doesn't include key changes or modulations because they, they can always change the key during a song as well. And more often than not, songs are written in one certain key and it stays pretty simple. But some songs switch between different keys and most of those key changes are raising the key. So taking half a tone, one full tone, one and a half tones higher, but the exact same thing. Uh, and most of the times we hear that in uh, for example, the last chorus, uh, where they play the same chorus as before, but one tone higher, for example, uh, as before. So then the key change is just the same, but one tone higher. So if a song starts off in C major, for example, but in the last chorus, they play the same chorus, one full tone higher, then the rest of that chorus is played in D major. So it changes during the song. So now as an exercise, you might search for a certain song and what key it is written in. And then you can search for yourself, which notes that includes. Now, if you have a song that is written in the G minor key, for example, then you can search G that's right here, or you can use the lower one as well, but the G is right here. So it starts there G minor. That means, if you remember last week, with the minor scales between the second and the third and between the fifth and the sixth note, there's only half a tone. So we have the G, A, then half a note, B flat, C, D, then between the fifth and the sixth, half a tone. So then we have the E flat, then the F, and end with the G. So a song that is written in G minor includes all of these notes. And now you know what notes you can use in that song. That's basically it guys. So if you have questions for me, ask them in the comments below. I hope you learned something again today guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Now, some, now, uh, and then it said, and then, then that just means that, then that just means that all the use are the notes that includes them. Then that's this, if you see, and that's, but some, and not only, that, that, that actually means that we remember between the third. So the G minor, so, and now you know what music